Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Modestus Bukowski's versus Marcin Prakneo in a terrible matchup. Not because it's one guy's better than the other, just a very ugly matchup. Modestus is 15 and 6, 4 and 1 in his last five fights. His last loss was against a Victor Petrino, the left hook. It was gorgeous. And then he follows that up with getting submitted by Anthony Smith, who is trash. My minus 150 favorite, 30 years old, 6'3 with a 78 inch reach. Fighting Marcin Pracnia, who's 17 and 7, 3 and 2 in his last five fight, plus 125 underdog, 36 years old, 6'3 with a 74 inch reach, 1 inch reach advantage for Bukaskis. So this, again, this matchup is weird because I, I do think Marcin has fought the better of competition. He's 4 and 5 in the UFC, he's been finished 4 out of 5 times. Only one decision loss in his career, which was against Felipe Linz. And Felipe Linz looked pretty good in that matchup. Uh, beat William Knight in a terrible fight. Beat Devin Clark in a terrible fight. Beat Ike Villanueva, who everyone finishes. Uh, beat Khalil Roundtree after he got, got hurt. Um, that's a pretty good victory. It's aged very, very well. Um, but it's crazy because he came to the UFC at 13-2. First loss, Sam Alvey. Beautiful left hook. Then gets destroyed by um, uh, Magomed and Kalaev. Then Slow, literally his nickname is Slow, Mike Rodriguez, who's no longer in the UFC. So his victories are Khalil, Ike Villanueva, um, William Knight, and Devin Clark. Okay. Not great. Modestus Bukaskis. And this is his second time being in the UFC. He's three and four. Three times out of four losses, he's been finished. He only has one finish himself. He's been Zach Pawanga, Tyson Pedro, um, uh, Andre Michelides, and that's it. He's lost to Jimmy Krupp, Michael Olin Jacek, and Khalil Roundtree. And Victor Petrino. So his wins are literally Pedro, Zach Pawanga, and Andre Michelides, who Andre Michelides is no longer in the UFC. Tyson Pedro is retired. I think he's going to boxing. And Zach Pawanga is also no longer in the UFC. So again, this matchup is so bad. It's just so ugly of a matchup. I I really am glad that it's it's first on that fight card, which it is. You know, again. Marcin, Marcin Pracnial, you know, he has 12 finishes out of 17 wins. That's cool, but we haven't really seen that in the UFC. Now Modestus has 11 finishes out of his 15 wins, but he's 15-6 and six overall. So, you know. Um, but again, let's look real quick. UFC 304, Modestus Bukaskis. So... Strikes landed per minute, 3.28 to 5.61 for Prakneal. Accuracy is 41 to 55 for Prakneal. Strikes absorbed per minute, 3.87 to 3.30 for Bukaskis. Defense is 50 to 54. Here where, here's where it can get a little in interesting. Takedowns, zero for Bukaskis. Barely any for Marcin. Takedown accuracy, zero to 20. Defense is 71 to 58. Marcin's the guy that gets taken down at least a couple times in his fights. He's been susceptible of that. You know, like the Victor, Victor Petrino fight, he had been taken down. I believe even the Devin Clark fight, Felipe Linz, you know, he gets taken down quite a bit. Like 58% taking defense is nothing to hold your head down on, but it's not, not terrible, but not great for him. But I... Leaning toward Marcin Pracnial because I feel like in urgent moments he'll at least be urgent. There's no urgency for Modestus Bukas because he'll come out, he'll scream a little bit, he'll get himself pumped up, and then when it's fight time, he'll wait back, wait back, go. Okay, wait back, wait back, go, wait back. Just there's no urgency from Modestus Bukaskis. So as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Let's talk about it down there in the comment section. Peace.